I'm Vin. I'm Sorry. That's Booby. And Culpy and Chip. Patreon pick for the Patreon Alliance. Yep. Uh, the this is... True Cult? Was it True Cult? No, 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 no. Epic Underground, led by the oh, big Epic homie. Yeah, the yep. big homie, Drew. Hey, y'all. What's good, Drew? <laughs> Epic Underground with the Man of War. Man of War has been asked for, like, half and half. Yeah. But they always get beat out by other people. Like, oh, in the, okay. So, this is one of those things where the... The, the Alliance. The Alliance pick works. Mm -hmm. Um... Drew is one of the more involved Alliance leaders, guys. They got a big thing going on Discord. It's like a secret society over there. Oh. The, with the underground. The Exciting. Epic, epic underground. I want to get rotisserie chicken for supper. Got you. That was totally... Right weird. after. That was like in my head and then we'll, it came we'll out We'll go to Walmart mouth. right after, babe. I got you 100. <laughs> okay. So, um, so this is the epic underground... This is called Battle Hymn. This is by the band Man of War. If you want to get down with a Patreon crew. So aside aside from, you know, the you know, the ability to get your get your song selected, <coughs> it's just a cool community. Like there's this is the giant village community, which mm -hmm. is Facebook.com backslash Finn and Sorry. And then there's the 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 little groups and they all have their own subcultures and right. it's pretty great. But it's cool though, because there's a lot of support that happens mm -hmm. and you know, all of us in the metal community. They work together. I always think it's so cute when I hear they the do. different stories of how they're working together. They do. And each group, like culturally, it's just, it's yeah. just different. Mm -hmm. So, um, <clears throat> I used to be able to, they were, they used to have them on Facebook. So I used to be able to like spy and see what everybody was talking about. But then yeah. they, they, then they caught on. And so they moved it off from Facebook. <laughs> To Discord, so I don't. So now they all you know, <coughs> screw that guy, man. Blah, blah, blah. Stay out of it, man. Yeah. So uh, it starts at it starts at uh, one dollar, and then um, for on the Patreon side, and then you can you can get connected. Um, so your dollars transfer to points. So yeah, your dollars transfer to points. Yeah. Once you get hooked up with your alliance leader, they explain the whole thing to you. Mm -hmm. It's pretty cool. And usually, what I've noticed is like with new with new folks, like. A lot of times, if a new person comes in and they say, oh, I really wanted this song, then, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah, they kind of... Some do. I don't know. But... All right. We're not making any promises. Yeah, I mean... Don't well, do to us what the kids do. Yeah. The minute you say something, it becomes, oh, you promised. Yeah. Vin said that because I'm They you. always say it's you. I know. I know. It's because I don't, I don't put myself in that situation. Yeah. 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 You never address people's concerns. Okay. Oh, so, battle... People ba know. Battle... Yeah. Battle him. Let's... This is live. It looks it. Looks like it's like from a live DVD or something. Go! Go! I know where it is. Got it.
It was three.
Yikes! That was quite a show. <laughs> Yikes! <laughs> Look at that crowd, man. I couldn't get over the crowd. At first, I was like, so they had three different drummers. Yeah. And they had like all the these choir. guitar. Though. Then there's the choir. It was like so many people involved. And you think about like, like fans like and like how they make their money. Because like, the capitalist in me is like, how are you making money if you just split it that many ways? <laughs> but then no, I'm like true. looking at this crowd and I'm like, that's a lot of people. Yeah, that's upon a lot. They must they must have uh, rented out that choir though. You know yep. what I'm saying? Like I, I find, I, I would doubt, I don't know. I mean, maybe. That maybe. they're part of the band. You think that they're just rented? Well, part of the like tour. Yeah. Like I don't think they're going all around America. I mean, maybe I don't know. I mean, if I was selling out stadiums, like I mean, I, I and I don't know if it was just for them or if it was an Iron Maiden show and they were the opening act. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Uh, but I got it. There was a lot of group participation. Like, right. you got to give them a ten for that. Like right, this right, crowd right, right. was engaged with them. It didn't look like it was like some opening thing. Well, they these guys really understand that. It's a show. Yeah, they didn't. I was like, what is this guy doing when he went after his drums like that? Yeah. I was like, because he was drawing all this attention and making himself obviously the coolest looking drummer. Yeah. But at the same time, the, the show wasn't over and he still needed those pots, I would think. <laughs> no, this is probably the last song. <laughs> the, yeah, I know, but there was still more. Uh, and he like broke yeah, the pressure. drums before. Yeah. Well, like, yeah. <laughs> that, that's the thing about, like, that's what I appreciated so much about Behemoth. Was, was, understood it was a show. It's a show, and it's a huge production what those guys do. When you see Slipknot, you'll see too. Like, oh it's a show. Like, it's like, you. it's like one of a kind. Like, you will not, ex you will not experience that until you were there. So, I'm really excited for you to see Slipknot. I'm really excited. I, I mean, we've already seen Behemoth. Um, porn too. And then when you, you, you see, we'll see, you'll see, like, it's, it's a show. Corn's more stripped down, though. Corn's more like boom, guitar, da 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 da, and, and all that. And um, they are. Well, corn. The, are we seeing the corn show first? We're seeing corn. We're so seeing Alice in Chains good. corn first, and then and then at the end of August we're gonna see Slipknot, Behemoth, and I, it's crazy to me because in my mind it's a Behemoth show, but it's really a Slipknot show. But oh no, no, no. you know, it's a Slipknot show. For I, me. I I've, I've got an emotional attachment to the big homie. Yeah, I but, and uh, I you know love the big homie myself too, but. Slipknot. That's one of the things that used to kill me in new metal, man. Going to a new metal <laughs> show, it's like you know, it's Fred Durst with his backwards hat and walking out in shorts and all this. It's like people get so mad at you when you bring this up. Yeah, I, I don't care. Like it's a show, man. Like it's a show. Yeah. And and I appreciate bands that that understand that. Yeah, you know? I can see what you're saying. <laughs> And so, and, and these guys, like, they were doing the solo and all that. Like, it was like, they're just putting on a show for the for Oh, the yeah, they I, did. And I love them for like, it. Putting the guitars. Yeah, they're sword fighting sword with the guitars fighting, and all yeah. that. Like, I love that stuff. I love it. I, and, I, and I'll always love it. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, any anytime, you know, and of course, Behemoth could never do this because it's like, what? What are you guys doing? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But, um. See, this is the stuff that my father likes to see. Right. In the show. Right, right, right. Yeah, the Behemoth stuff will probably tear off a little bit. But yeah, the Behemoth stuff, that's, no, he's not, not at all interested in that. Yeah. But this, the messing around with stuff, yeah. like, yeah. Yeah, it, it's, it's, uh, it's ridiculous. It's, it's amazing, amazing stuff. I um, wish that I could go back in time and go to a show with a young version of my dad. I don't know. Maybe you can... No, he said he's, he's, he'll never do him again. Really? He's done? He set that aside. SubhanAllah. Why would you do that? Well, he felt like it wasn't good. Okay, that's fair. But Is that yeah. our children? No. Okay. Somebody else's children. Let them deal with it. <laughs> so this this is a straightforward song about jihad, right? Like, it's a war. <coughs> yeah. Kill. <laughs> yeah, but it was interesting because the, the kill part, I was like, whoa. And then they had the other stuff in between that, you know, when they were talking. Scroll down, I think. Uh, when it was talking about like them riding and like maybe it was this we crossed the starlit sky no space no time we kept it might have been at that part where it was just kind of like chill but then it oh, was eh, back to kill eh, <laughs> <laughs> chill then it's back to kill <laughs> yep. how real is real oh, here we go mm -hmm. how, much blood, gonna be, channel, how much blood baby. gonna be spilled what's the deal uh yeah but it, it's one of those things where when you're really 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 young before you actually experience war, you romanticize war. 
So like you, you're like, oh yeah, I'm with the infantry. I'm with like I remember when when I went to uh, uh, Lejeune for my little brother's uh, graduation. graduation. Yeah. And uh, he was with his boys, mm -hmm. and uh, I was asking everybody, "What's your MOS or whatever?" And uh, uh, military operational specialty, like, "What's your job?" Right? And uh, I went to his buddy, and his buddy was infantry. I was like, "Hey, man, what's your what's your MOS?" He's like, "I kill people." He said it just like that. It's like we were all chilling, or whatever, and he's like, "I kill people." <laughs> and I was like, "I was like, no doubt, fam." And he just kept looking at me. All of them were weird after Lejeune, though. Jamie was very, very strange after Lejeune. Like, it took him a while to like get off the island and like reorient yeah, himself because they were all like mega brainwashed. No, I mean it, it's. I mean, you're you're in the Marine Corps mm -hmm. and you're in infantry and there's a war happening. You are definitely going to kill some folk. Mm -hmm. So I mean, you have to, you know. Mm -hmm. But <laughs> and then he wanted to ride to a pizza shop. I was like, nah. Fam. <laughs> <laughs> Jamie's little baby, he'd just been born. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I, and then Ashley, uh, I was Not like, I was like, nah. I was like, nah. I was like, nah, fam, you go ahead and, and uh, get a run in, get a mile in there. He's like, yeah, that, that makes sense. I'm like, yeah. You're not <laughs> get a run in. <laughs> You're not coming in this car, <laughs> fam. You eat pizza and You're then run. You're not coming in this car, family. I don't give a damn. Yeah. <laughs> I kill people. No. Nope. I had, uh, I was w watching this thing and it was a it's a it's a Marine Corps Facebook page and it was like matching tats and one guy had kill over here and his buddy had kill over there and my mom used to t when I first came to the country my mom used to tell me about my stepdad he'd he'd be saying kill 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 in his sleep what yeah he, he, yeah Mr Man he used to say kill 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 in his he sleep. was in the military at one point oh, he's a Marine Corps that's the reason Jamie went to Marine Corps because because of, of his dad. Yeah, he was in Vietnam. Oh, what? Yeah. Have you told me that? Nah, I never told you that. Uh, you... So. You always say these things and I never know, like, what, did I forget something that big? Yeah. Oh, that's but, wild. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that's kill, kill, kill to see. Yeah. Yeah, my mom used to wake him up like, what? Yes. Yeah. Of course, you know, it's Jamaica. Yeah. That's I mean, we have a military, but, like, you're not really thinking about killing folk in Jamaica. You know what I'm saying? Like. Honestly, I was gonna say, well, you know, maybe the like the way the tone of his voice would, because I'm like, well, that's really creepy, and then I'm like, well, maybe the tone of his voice, like, if it was like real aggressive, but then I'm like, well, no, if it was like more calm, that then I was like, no, that's even creepy, like, because I was like, kill, 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 like, well, I don't want to hear that, kill, 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 that sounds creepy, like, there's no way you can say kill in your sleep without nope. it sounding scary. Nope. There's no way. <laughs> Wake up, babe. <laughs> That Don't you want a little snack? That doesn't happen when I'm saying I just want to sleep. <laughs> no, I'm saying if you did. Oh. <coughs> yeah. You'll mumble. But you don't make any, you don't say any actual words. Okay. Let's move on. <laughs> um. Yeah, so it's very romantic, you know. He's like, I kill people, you know. Like, it's just like, oh, yeah, and killing people, and no. It's like, you kind of have to, you kind of have to, you know, celebrate that stuff in a fallen world because of the exigencies of oh, living oh. in this, yeah. on this planet. Yeah. And there's bad people, mm -hmm. you know, and, and the other side of it is, I'm sorry, but if you're in America, you're part of an empire. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't know how else to say it. Yeah. I mean, I've talked to some pretty, you know. There's, there's people in our government that understand that we're in an empire. I say it that way. Mm -hmm. And a lot of the a lot of the movements that we make in the world are are. Uh, I just remember being like, "Yo, this is not this is right or whatever." And then it's like, "Let me give you a history lesson on the planet Earth." Mm -hmm. It's like there's never been a dominant yeah. nation that hasn't exerted their will over the planet. Right. Right. Sorry. And then you know. So anyway. But this this is kind of like the fun side of war, and then one from Metallica is like the the reality mm -hmm. or disposable heroes. Mm -hmm. Like, and I think you need both types of songs. Oh yeah, you need them because you need you. I mean, the fact of the matter is, you need the young idealistic kid who believes he's invincible. Um, yeah, and and you know can can yeah. overcome the world. 
Because if you don't, you're you don't, you're, you're, you're not going to fill your quota. Yeah, you're completely vulnerable. Yeah. Um, and then you also need, hey, here are the realities of jihad. Mm -hmm. Because you want to create social pressure. To it's, I think Latrell said it best. He's like, look, you got a problem with another country, you do whatever you need to do, say whatever you need to say, send whatever ambassador you need to send, and if that doesn't work and you send us, then look away. Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. we're going to go and wreck shop. Mm -hmm. And that's war. I mean, that's yeah. that's that's long. And I, I so I think like both types of you need both spectrums. As you, you you know, as pacifistic as I am now, I recognize a need for you know hard men to do business on your behalf. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like it's that famous quote where it's like you're able to sleep at night because hard men are doing bad things mm -hmm. on, that you can't see. Mm -hmm. So. You need them. You need them both. But this is kind of like the. I I thoroughly enjoyed this song and how you're standing next to your mates and all this and mm -hmm. and, and then I was thinking to myself like you know watching Vikings and the way that they did jihad it was a lot more fun because it was like me and you we're squared up let's go yeah none of this IED yeah. drone shit none of this you know ICB like. No, I got my mace and my sword, and I, I've spent my entire life perfecting it, and you spent your life perfecting it, and then we can see what's what. <laughs> I wonder if there was more or less trauma fighting like that over and against fighting now. I think fighting now is different because you can't... I, I, I got friends that cannot drive down the street without seeing a trash bag or something and freak it out. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Hopefully. Like... Because it's different, you know? Yeah. And and if you've ever been droned or something like that, like the fear that happens with that type of capability, like, yeah, like you're at war back in the day, it was like, I'm assuming it was when you're on the battlefield, you're on the battlefield, but when you're off, you're off. Mm -hmm. But now, because of our capability for long range, long range weaponry oh. and, and, the and paranoia and, not IED, what might be coming. and IEDs yeah. and terrorism, yeah. You're never. You're always on a state of hyper vigilance all the time. You know, like I. I don't know. You know, it. A lot of these dudes are getting. You know, I talked about it during the Obama era. We drone the hell out of people. Mm -hmm. Obama dropped drone like, you know, like eight times more than Bush did. Obama drone more people eight times more than Bush did in his first four years, and Bush did in his in his entire presidency. Wow. But of course, a lot of that has to do with technology, right? Mm -hmm. So, you know, if you're if you're over there in Afghanistan or or you know, on the and you just saw somebody get blown to smithereens at a wedding, mm -hmm. that's completely random. Yeah, it's random to you. Yeah, there was an HVT at that wedding. Mm -hmm. So it's it looks random to you as a as a as an Afghani, but it's not random. But it wasn't random. Yeah. We just decided yet yeah, that collateral damage is worth it because this guy has killed X mm -hmm. amount of you know, whatever. Yeah. So I just it, it's just different. It's like it's 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 never it's now it's never ending. Well, I get I guess what I'm saying is <clears throat> I understand your point. What you're saying, I'm I'm saying like you know it was crazy when we were all lining up. It was crazy when we were all lining up and. And we were just blowing each other up like in lines. Remember that? Like when when that's how oh, people yeah, did that. Yeah, like, yeah. I don't know what they called that. The Civil War. That was, that was just insane. Like, yeah, yeah. Whoever thought that I would have never. Good, I would have never, never made any sense. Yeah, I would have never like. I, I wouldn't. Have, that would. That was my worst period for war. Like I yeah. would never want to be there. The Viking stuff. No, love it. Right. Well, I'm thinking like when it was like hand to hand combat. Like let's say with the Vikings. Like yeah. The feeling that you would get after almost like. So you fight, like, yeah, you kill people, but you, it wasn't, you weren't cowardly killing people. You were out in the middle of a battle and you were fighting and, you know, you, your heart was in it, your, your physical body and everything. And so, yeah. yeah, there was like, well, people died, but you put your life on the line to do that. But I would right. think that when you're like at like a distance and like you said, like some of these people, they're not trained. You're, you're coming up against people who are not trained. The, the guy, the one, the story that you explained, the guy's got flip flops on, you know, after you said, it's like, oh man, this guy really didn't. It, this, you can't have that same feeling as like I'm a warrior, you're a warrior, and we're fighting. Yeah. I, I would think that the trauma level would be different. Yeah. You know, yeah. depending on the type of war that you would fight. <clears throat> well, yeah, but remember back then they didn't care about killing civvies very much. 
I mean, they didn't care about killing civilians back mm -hmm. in the day, you know. So the the Vikings, I, I just I, I just think that the way technology is now is you really can't get a break. Yeah. Well, yeah. Like mentally, you cannot. You <laughs> How can't could you? You can't get a break, you know. Whereas back then, but again, I'm saying that as a modern person, I don't know what it was like for. Mm -hmm. People back then, you know what I'm saying? I, I don't, and and the stakes were a lot higher. If you lost a battle, mm -hmm. then dudes were coming to your village, and that's that. Mm -hmm. So it, it's just it's right. It's war is always terrible, but there is that that brotherhood that everybody talks about. Yeah, that's you you'll you'll never ever experience something like that. Yeah, in in yeah, any other theater, like, you never experience it. Like. Mm -hmm. And I, I know I, I know dudes that can't do it. They can't do it in the real the real world. Mm -hmm. Can't because that type of loyalty and camaraderie is just not there. You mm -hmm. know. So like, you know, standing side by side and blah blah mm -hmm. blah. It's like yes, go. Like yeah. Even in high school, you know, when you're with your when you're with your guys, and then somebody has a problem and. Mm -hmm. We had this one dude that was always creating problems, and we'd always be like, yo, man, can we just chill for a week? Can we have mm -hmm. a week without a conflict? But at the same time, all of us, all of us liked it. Because mm -hmm. we could have really shut him down if we wanted to. <laughs> yeah. We could have. Yeah. We complained about it, but at right. the same time, it was like... Nobody was actually... Yeah. Yeah. That's interesting. So, yeah. you know, we could have ex excommunicated him from our little crew. You know, mm -hmm. we never did. I mean, I wouldn't have regardless. I loved him as my mm -hmm. own soul. I mean, I'd have never done that, but still. Mm -hmm. So, it's just it's just fun. And as I'm listening to the song, and look, all these people in this crowd, the majority of them probably have never engaged in warfare, mm -hmm. but everybody, like, it's, it's stirring something up within people, you know? Mm -hmm. and, and so I was thinking to myself, like, what is it about, about human nature and that makes us romanticize this idea. I mean, like Lord of the Rings, you know, like, for Frodo! Yeah. You know, he said that, I was like, that's right, let's go! Freaking Frodo! You know, and it's like, man, we've never done Lord of the Rings with the kids, have we? No. Surprised. I think they've all seen it, but, well, I don't know. Have yours? I know Sayla's seen it. I don't know she hasn't, I don't know. I'll try again, but, yeah, like, I don't know. That's, that's the thing that gets me, it's like, I don't know. I don't know why that is, but uh, you know, you gotta get out of your system somehow. <laughs> this is a good way. If I, <laughs> if I had to do, well, nah, I wouldn't have changed much. I wouldn't have changed anything. Uh, anyway, what do you give the song? <laughs> uh, overall, I think I'm going with a ten because they, they, I think they did really. I, a 10. I gotta give it a ten. Yep. The showmanship was crazy. Yeah. The show. The, this is one of those songs that would not have gotten a ten if, if I didn't see the live, live show. I, it, I'm totally agreeing with but you. But I was so into the freaking live show because mm -hmm. really, this song is it's a war song, blah, epic, mm -hmm. Lord of the Rings, Clash of Swords. I get it, mm -hmm. but what the, they did with the it. live show was just insane. I agree. The classic. That's what bumped it up for me too. We're judging the performance. Which mm -hmm. includes the music, but we're judging the performance. Love it. Yep. Whoa, 1982. Whoa, up bar. This is another one of those like 30 year old songs that's still translatable. We weren't even born yet. I know. <laughs> People's talent level is ridiculous. Yeah. God's like, <laughs> even you get this. <laughs> and all these other people get flooded with talent. <laughs> Thank you very kindly. Been out. Sorry, out. Gone. <laughs>